Hello, so welcome back to another video. So another thing that I've noticed quite a big difference in the UI is the task manager. In previous versions of uh, Windows, it's pretty much stayed the same. But as you can see now, it's completely different. Now looking at this, there, there seems to be two different sections to it. There seems to be the, the more basic one that we're looking at right now, which just shows you the applications that are running in the background. So I've got that search build running Camtasia recorder to record this and note space that I opened from the tile sort of interface. So to get more details, if we click here on the arrow and you'll see that it opens up and gives us far more information. So we're on, I think we've pretty much got the same sort of tabs. We've got processes, performance, um, app history. I think that's possibly a new one. Uh, we've got startup, um, users. So I'm assuming this is the users logged in. Uh, details and services. So the processes one here gives you the applications and basically their CPU usage, the memory usage, disk usage and network which is pretty handy. So for example this one here Camtasia Recorder is using 13% of my CPU and 106 meg of memory. So that's basically hogging most of it at the moment. Uh, background processes, so we've got all the different like HP things, runtime, uh, the spooler subsystem. So it looks quite a nice interface. I think I quite prefer this actually to the the Windows 7 one. Now if we go to performance, again we've got CPU usage, uh, memory, disk, Bluetooth, uh, wireless, and Ethernet. So this is a lot nicer, I think. Uh, the graph definitely definitely makes it easier to read. Uh, just the whole just the whole user interface is a lot better. Uh, so it shows here uh, my CPU is at 50%. Uh, my memory usage is at 0 0.8. So that's like 40%. Disk usage is at 1%. If we double click on that, does that do anything? If we right click on it, we can change the graph to logical processors. That's quite handy. So you can do that as well. Now app history, which is a new new tab. Um, Showing total resource usage um, by modern applications. So yeah, so that's a new section to here. We've got startup um, process applications. We've got users. So ah, so if you've got multiple users logged in, I suppose you can see what they're taking up of the system. So it's just me logged in at the moment, and it's using. I'm using obviously pretty much half the CPU at the moment, and I'm running. I'm using all of these different applications by the looks of it. Processes. So again, that's quite handy. Uh, details is what we've had previously anyway, so I use this all the time at work to figure out what has been us using the most memory by sorting it by the column. And then we've got services as well. So that was just a brief overview of the new Windows Task Manager. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.